Bonjour. Hello, welcome to the Mary Fisher stand at the Barcelona Boat Show. Today we would like to present the new Mary Fisher 795 Sport, a new redesigned model that replaces the Mary Fisher 795 Marlin. The new Mary Fisher Sport line now consists of three models, the 695, the 795 Sport and the 895. As you know, the Mary Fisher line from Jeannot is considerable. It is made up of two different lines. On the one hand, there are the Mary Fisher Weekenders, which you are sure to know already, and the new Sport line, which has more exterior space and an interior helm station that is protected from the elements. This new Mary Fisher 795 Sport is based on the same hull as the Mary Fisher 795 Series 2 launched last year. This hull is equipped exclusively with an outboard motor. The outboards offer better performance and the reliability of a four-stroke engine. It is a traditional V-shaped hull with a relatively deep V. The beam is 2.75 meters wide for greater stability, both while underway and at anchor. As mentioned, the Mary Fisher Sport line offers a maximum of exterior space, really a lot of exterior deck space. It is visible here on the 795 with the largest aft cockpit on the market. The roof doesn't extend out over the cockpit, so it doesn't get in the way when casting and fishing. This telescopic rear canopy is an option that allows for casting and following your catch as it has no upright to aft. To access the boat, there are large swim platforms on each side. In general, access is from the starboard side, where the swim ladder and handrail are there to assist you. There is also secondary access to port, as the live well has been lowered to make the port side easier to use. So, fishing aside, this large space is perfect for many other sporting activities with friends and family. There is ample space for scuba diving or snorkeling, as well as other sports. Maybe you're a surfer, a kite surfer or windsurfer. In any case, there is a lot of space to prepare yourself. At the same time, the aft cockpit is fully modular, with three folding benches that transform this space into a large cockpit lounge in the blink of an eye. There is also an optional exterior helm station. This allows you to be as close as possible to the fishing action, for example, while having the controls right at hand. Right next to this optional helm, there is a new gangway door, now standard equipment, which greatly facilitates access on board when one is moored along a quay or when accessing the boat from a pontoon or a catway. Another advantage of the Mary Fisher Sport, in addition to this large aft cockpit, is the second living space located forward. Moving around between these two spaces is safe and secure thanks to the recessed side deck and full-length handrails. The deck is flush between the aft cockpit and the interior helm station. Then there are two steps to access the forward cockpit, which is deep enough to provide good protection and safety. The forward cockpit is a second super welcoming living space, reminiscent of the Mary Fisher 895 Sport, as it also has a U-shaped saloon with a table and enough space to accommodate several people. All the parts of the forward cockpit are removable. This adds to how easy it is to move around the boat. There is the main side deck to starboard and a secondary side deck to port. This forward living space can be protected by a canopy that is really easy to set up, thanks to these removable poles. As you can see, the bow roller is slightly off-center. This design allowed for the installation of a large anchor locker and an electric windlass, as well as creating unencumbered access through the bow. Access is very easy and assisted by a handrail and stepladder, which make it possible to board easily from the quay. Under the seat, there is a hatch with access to the forward cabin. This makes for very easy storage of all the cushions and saves having to go all the way around the boat. The hatch also provides excellent ventilation for the cabin. 
On the roof, Chano offers different types of optional equipment. High power LED projectors, a searchlight with an adjustable beam, a radar support, as well as additional handrails that serve as a support for an equipment rack to store paddle boards or surfboards. The forward cockpit can be transformed into a sun deck. It is very easy to set up. The aft cockpit can also be converted into a sun deck. Let's have a look at the interior of the boat. There are two layouts available for the Mary Fisher 795 Sport. The first version has a sliding glass door. This layout makes a priority of unencumbered movement from the interior to the exterior of the boat. The second version is equipped with a sliding window and a large and comfortable three-person bench seat, giving the cockpit face-to-face -face seating. One interesting option this second layout offers is the outdoor galley, equipped with either a gas stove or a gas plancha. Both layouts have two large sliding lateral doors almost 80 centimeters wide, which provide both protection from the elements while underway, as well as, with the doors open, the feeling of being outside when boating in fairer weather. Above all, the two doors provide excellent ventilation for the interior. There is plenty of storage. First of all, there are cabinets located here under the co-pilot seat. A second cabinet is located here under the pilot seat. There is a refrigerator and a sink. With the pump and tank systems located under the floor, next to the black water tank for the marine toilet. The two forward seats swivel, the third optional seat as well. With the seats turned, the table can be lowered to make a small saloon. There is a large berth here in the front cabin. There is a removable central support and cushion that allow for access to the separate head compartment, which is equipped with a marine toilet and sink. The separate head is an option, without which there is an even larger berth. When it comes to motors, there are several possibilities. The entry level is a 150 horsepower engine then there is a 200 horsepower engine for better boating performance. Finally, there is a 250 horsepower engine which takes advantage of the new Yamaha V6 design and all the associated technology, including electronic steering and automatic pilot. With the 250 horsepower engine, the boat will reach top speeds of around 35 knots. With its rugged 4x4 on the water look, the Mary Fisher 795 Sport is the perfect boat for going on an adventure or for multiple sporting activities. It is a boat that offers incredible exterior space while having a comfortable and perfectly ventilated cockpit protected from the elements.